A while back my missus made a house of game style coaster using the scroll saw. I was interested to see how it would look as a plaque and I decided to make a random hazard style sign for my workshop for no other reason than for just a bit of fun. The process is really simple and like all my other projects I made it into a video and a mini tutorial. Like I said it was purely just for a bit of fun but with a few changes it could be made to be quite a useful project. Now, I'm using Vectric Aspire for the project but it's all 2D machining so it could be done in other versions of the software. There may be slight differences between the softwares but nothing that can't be worked around. I'll be using a scrap piece of pine for this project as it's only a bit of fun so I'm not going to be using my best pieces of oak for this. Now I have a piece that's roughly 400mm square so on opening Vectric I click on create a new file I set my job size to 390mm for both X and Y and as it's 18mm thick, Z's 18mm. Every other setting is fairly straightforward. It's single sided, Z0 is material surface and my XY data is always from the centre on all of my projects. Clicking OK takes me back to a blank slate. Now because my missus needed an image for the coaster that she made a while back, I've already got a PNG file of the image that I'm using of myself. But it was easy enough to do on Photoshop, but I need to import this into Aspire. To do this I click on file at the top then import bitmap. Although it says bitmap it will allow the importing of other types of files. Once my image is imported I need to make the vectors of my face. So I make sure that my image is highlighted by ensuring the image darkens when clicked. And select trace bitmap in create vectors. This opens up a window with many options and it can be about experimenting with the best settings for your image. I click preview and I'm happy with what I see so I click apply then close. Now to keep things simple, I'm not going to start moving everything onto different layers, but that is an option. What I need is the shape of the plaque, which is square, but turned at 45 degrees. So under Create Vectors, I click on Draw Rectangle, and I'm going to make it 250mm for X and Y, and put a 12mm external radius to make sure that I remove any sharp pointy corners. Clicking Create shows the finished shape on the slate. Closing the window and selecting Rotate Selected Objects under the Transform Objects section allows me to rotate the square by 45 degrees. Now my face isn't central to the square and it's too small and my face isn't grouped as one vector either. So the first thing I need to do is select all of my face and just press G to group the vectors as one. Now when I highlight the vector and click Set Selected Object Size under Transform Objects I can enlarge it to suit. Alternatively you can drag the corner of the image to size it. Now it's still not central to the square, so to make it central you can click on the face first, then hold shift and click on the square. Then align selected objects under transform objects. Then in the align to selection window click on the middle icon of the three centre options and the face is centralised to the square. Machining is really easy but the detail you get is dependent on the size of the cutters you have. You may lose detail if the cutters are too big although you can adjust the image to suit the cutter. So all I did was use a 3.175mm end mill, and using the pocket toolpath I cut to a depth of 2mm. I don't really go into depth with my settings because everyone seems to have their own preferences. To cut out the square I used an 8mm down cut spiral. I used tabs on the finished piece, but I haven't shown them here just so I can show the finished simulation. And that's pretty much it. I save the file to a USB stick and I take it to the CNC machine. 